And just like that, ladies and gentlemen, on a beautiful night from Valdosta, Georgia, we are set for our top fuel final. Larry Spider-Man McBride, Mitch Brown. It's gonna be epic. Remember, Mitch won this race two years ago, upset Ian King in the final round for the Spider-Man. He's won this race many times. Anything can happen in 2020, that's what we've learned. Here we go. Spider-Man, this is it. It's been a crazy year, but you made it to the final. Would 2020 be just a little sweeter if you could win this thing? Yeah, you know, I need to try to win it from my buddy. That's right, no doubt about it. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's, uh, we'll see. You know, we uh, hopefully don't smoke the tire and it goes down the avenue and maybe it'll be a good number. You just don't ever know. Sometimes these things got a mind of their own. Sure Have a nice, safe ride. Thank you, Jack. I appreciate everything you do, Larry McBride racing with a heavy heart here this weekend. One of his childhood friends passed away last night. Just got the news. Uh, you, you get a helpless feeling when you're at the track. He wants to be home. He wants to be surrounded by his loved ones. The man who passed away was a drag racing fanatic. Keith Kibo Adams. He used to work on the Winston team. I told Larry this morning, I said, Kibo would want one thing and one thing only. He wants you to go win this race. Good deal. Mitch, you're one win away from the hat trick. Do you got Do you got one more magic trick left in the bag? I don't know. We're just happy to be here, having a great time. Larry could run another world record. We all know he's capable of that. We're just happy to be here and having fun. Good luck to you. As we found out two years ago against Ian King, anything can happen. Anything can happen. Thank you. You're a drag racing fan. These are those magic moments we want to live on. You may see Doug Ray's famous YouTube video. It's got about 13 million views when it was Larry McBride versus Tommy Grimes. Here we are at Valdosta. Same situation, two great bikes, one great showdown. And it's gonna live on right here.
Good enough. Wow. Does that make 2020 feel a little better? Good job, Steve. Good job, buddy. That's a good way to put her away, huh? That's the way you end the day. Wow. that 83 percent. Any idea what happened, guys? Oh, uh, it was a hurt motor before we went up there, and so I don't know. I just hit the hit throttle, and it just died. So you got your five, you got your championship. I'd say that's a good weekend. Thank you, Jack. Congratulations. It. What's your name? Alex. Where are you from? Birmingham, Alabama. Do you watch Cycle Train? Dude, I watch it. I binge watch it on Mondays when I'm not at the motorcycle shop working. Thanks a lot. Thank you, brother. He did it once again, ladies and gentlemen. Number one qualifier, race winner, and Larry, the fastest you have ever been, 265 miles an hour. What a wild in ending to what has been a crazy season. Oh, God, it has been uh, crazy. This whole week was kind of crazy, too, being here, you know, being as rusty as we was, but... Uh, this whole year, you know, be glad to get 2020 behind us because it's not been a good year. So, um, hope they'll get all this COVID mess under control and we won't have to be fighting that stuff and uh, we can get continue on with our racing like we, uh, you know, like we normally do. Talking about your 265, someone was telling me that you had a little bit of a, a scare down there, that it was so fast, you were hanging on so tight, you hit a bump? Well, what it was is normally when I ride is you go through, you kind of relax on the bike and kind of just let it do what it wants to do, right? Well, I knew uh, in the left lane there, there was a little dip down there, about 400 feet from the uh, the traps, you know, after the traps. So I uh, I was still pretty tense because it went pretty fast, you know, so you, I, was, I didn't relax like I normally would have a little bit, you know, when I say relax, just be loose on the bike, kind of let the bike do its deal. And I still had, you know, a pretty good grip. I don't think hit that hit that little dip. And when it did, I kind of just went down like that. When I did, went whoop, whoop, blip the bike. So yeah, it it it, uh, it definitely um, uh, definitely put a little scare. You know, it wouldn't. I mean, it would. It was really nothing that that, but it would scared some other people, not so much me. It's just like, whoa, don't be doing that, man. You don't <laughs> yeah. need to take off you again. You you're don't want to get... stop, so you're not trying to go. Not after so. going two sixty five. So I'm not saying I won't be going any faster. I'd like to take the thing and be able to, uh, you know, run 540s at, you know, 200. That would be perfect. <laughs> I don't believe gonna, you anymore. Yeah, that ain't going to happen. <laughs> You've been gonna... telling me that for too long. I think you told me 20 years ago, yeah, I want to run fives at 220. Now, 265, you just keep getting faster and faster. Well, man. you know, um, God, this thing, we, you know, this thing just runs some big mile an hour. I mean, it's it really just. really does. It's, um. It's pretty incredible. Um, Did that feel does. like the fastest pass of your career? Oh, there's no question. I knew it was. Wow. Or it felt like the fastest pass. Wow. Well, the first thing I was wanting to know down top end, how fast did I just run? Of course, you know, they didn't know. Sure. The guy that was down there didn't know, so I had to I had to wait. And, of course, when Steve and them come up, and I said, Steve, that had to be faster than 264. He said it was when 265 went dang. But, you know, and I don't know if there's any, you know, um, you know, I don't know if you can, I don't think you can feel the difference. It's just sometimes the things seem a little faster when you have a little bit more, if you got a little bit more action moving around. And the thing got pretty loose, you know, because we were really, like, say, pouring the coals to it out in the middle. And, you know, the thing did a little waggle from you. You had a little wheel spin out there. So, um, but, buddy, when you got through that part, I'll hold the heck on because it was one hell of a ride. Um, it's, um, you know, and I tell everybody, going that fast is it, it's not the, the hardest part stopping. Well, well, congratulations. He's victorious. Ends the year with a new speed record and a win. Larry Spider-Man McBride.
wonderful evening here at South Georgia Motorsports Park. Thank you guys for watching the video. Really hope you enjoyed the coverage from the Man Cup Finals. I love this place, Valdosta. If you like that video, here's another one for you. Please share with a friend. Please subscribe. You know if there's anything fast motorcycles, we're in. Cycle drag rolls on.